positives and negatives of the courthouse in Arangistan will be discussed on today's show. Plus, in our lifestyle segment, we'll tell you the benefits of not only laughing, but fake laughing as well. And a music educator discloses the positivity music has on children. 15 on 15 starts right now. Thanks for joining us. I'm Yantulio. There were two main problems the government wanted to find solutions for when taking on downtown Orangistad. One was parking and the other issue they wanted to tackle was the homeless loitering in downtown. The revitalization of Orangistad is coming to a close. The issue of parking and the homeless though still exists. There are plans from policymakers to tackle the parking issue. However, the problem with the homeless in downtown remains status quo. ATV's camera operators were able to catch chollers sleeping on the newly renovated park at the courthouse. Now, the purpose of the park is for families to come together in a big open space, allowing children to run around and play. The key here is for them to feel safe. Therefore, the issue of the homeless needs to be solved. The issue of the homeless evidently remains. We'll keep you informed as the situation progresses. With that being said, though, there are very positive changes to the courthouse in Orangistad. The sight of the courthouse in Orangistad is breathtaking. The security of the building has heightened. The furnishings inside is immaculate. The park with the statue of justice all adds certain needed elements to the space. The five-phase project is coming to an end. During the day, the courthouse is an attraction, and this is also the case at night because of its illumination. Despite minor setbacks, these projects are undoubtedly providing a positive social influence within the community. In other local news, the research company TNO has been providing services for some time now on the island. Let's find out its progress and results so far. TNO provides two services, consulting to public companies and two, to guide groups or businesses on how to be sustainable. TNO Caribbean is established in Aruba but provides services to islands around the region, from Bonaire, Curaçao, St. Martin and more. TNO works very closely with Web, Almar and Utilities and Ve to bring forward a sustainable movement right here in Aruba. Heineken has introduced a worldwide campaign to celebrate its 140th anniversary. But Heineken is not only promoting its new bottles and giving out prizes, they have found a way to tie the message of drinking responsibly to their campaign. Heineken's Cities of the World campaign is creating quite the hype. Last Friday at Nos Clopos, fans of the beer and brand celebrated the official launch. Tonight we have our first um, Heineken Open Your City event where um, we try to bring a little elegance and uh, trendiness to our happy hours. Um, Heineken uh, is doing a worldwide campaign with um, uh, almost uh, 182 uh, countries worldwide where they change the bottle for two months. They change it, uh, the label, where they have six of the biggest cities around the world. And um, you, they have an under, under the cap promotion where you can win uh, an awesome trip to one of the big cities uh, of the world. Many prizes can be won during the season of this campaign, but most impressive is the chauffeuring prize. In order to promote responsible drinking, one of Heineken's big prize is to allow the winner to party and have fun, but most importantly, to stay safe. When, where you buy a bottle, you receive a, a coaster where you can win an uh, awesome prize. And also, if you didn't win that, you can always uh, hand in your um, Try Again coaster where, where you can participate to win uh, uh, a trip next week, Friday, for uh, uh, two persons to drive around the city and experience the nightlife. You know, um, we, we are trying to promote the drive responsibly, or drink responsibly and drive safely, um, where we chauffeur you, um, the winners, where they want to go and in, where they can enjoy the night. It is an exciting few weeks with Heineken. Representatives of the brand asks everyone to take part in the 140th anniversary. Well, um, I invite uh, everybody, one and all, from Aruba, and uh, you know, to enjoy, enjoy Heineken. You know, Heineken is the, uh, I would say, the best for me. My, my preference is the best beer there is. Um, you know, enjoy it. Come to our events. Keep pending. I, w I would also like to thank. Um, Ultimate Mobiles for um, the awesome uh, uh, cars we have, the, the nice projects we, we, 
we tried out with them and it's, uh, it's working fantastically. So come on, come all and uh, enjoy the elegant night of uh, Heineken Open Your City event. And don't go anywhere because when we come back, we'll tell you why you should fake laughing more often. Also, health officials are claiming that obesity is the new smoking. Find out all about that coming up next. And if you've ever spilt your coffee while driving, well then stay with us because all those topics and much more are coming up right after the break. Welcome back from the break. Laughing is good for our health. It decreases stress hormones and causes endorphins to rise. Now here is something interesting though. Our body cannot scientifically differentiate between a real laugh and a fake one. Meaning even if you fake it, you will still reap all the health benefits. These people in Denmark are laughing for absolutely no reason. Research shows laughing doesn't signal happiness, it produces it. They say the average child laughs 500 times a day and an average adult only 40 times a day. So these laughter yoga classes benefits health. Some people forget to laugh because of tension, stress, worry, etc. So these exercises helps to remind you that laughing keeps you healthy. Laughing, whether real or fake, is good for the heart, and even just the anticipation of laughter may elicit some of the same benefits as well. So whether if it's for real or you're faking it, just keep on laughing. And in other lifestyle news, obesity has become the new smoking. This is in terms of the impact of health and the cost to governments, with so many people being overweight. Statistics from England indicates if obesity rates keep rising, it could even threaten the sustainability of their healthcare system. Someone with a body mass index, meaning height versus weight ratio of more than 30, is being considered obese. Obesity is the new smoking, health officials say. It represents a slow motion car crash in terms of avoidable illness and rising healthcare costs. Now, these statistics and new information from England directly impacts Aruba since the island is struggling with obesity. If a nation keeps piling on the pounds on their waistline, it means piling on the pounds in terms of future taxes needed for the healthcare system. Switching over to the annoyance and frustration of trying to prevent your drink from spilling when you're driving. I don't know about you, but no matter how careful I drive, there will always still be coffee spills. If you are like me, you may be in need of this new cup holder, Balance. Drinking a beverage while driving often ends in car compartments becoming sticky or coffee burns. But we are in luck. A Mackey Somatic cup holder balances the weight of your drink with a heavy bottomed holder. Just look at this. Whether it's uphill, downhill, sharp turns or abrupt braking, this cup holder can handle it all. The cup holder also has a range of motion, adjusting both the cup and its liquid to the speed and angle of the car. Mackie Somatic aims to make the roads safer as well. With a larger, more reliable cup holder, drivers can now keep their focus on the road instead of on their coffee. I definitely need to get one of those for myself. Let's take a very quick break. This is what's coming up next. Music can become a great passion for many. It has the power to drive positive influences amongst children and youths. Dorshan Salmon went to visit a music educator at Casa Cultura who has been in the business for 30 years. And we talked to him regarding the topic loved by many, music. Carlos Bislip currently gives music lessons to children and adults alike. His portfolio ranges from locally on the island to abroad. He advises children to get involved with instruments at a young age. The, an ideal age is at like really, really young, uh, maybe three years or four years. Um, any, any musician who has achieved greatness um, in their early 20s has started music at a very young age. Um, but here in Aruba, we start a little later. We start like maybe at seven or eight years of age. Bislip advises parents to conduct proper research prior to sending children off to music lessons or music schools. 
Reason being, kids need a proper base and platform in order to have a prosperous future within this type of art. Well, to begin with, um, if they're going to pursue uh, a career in the arts, first they have to be very selective who they're going to study with. You know, um, the, as a parent, you have to research who you're going to send your child to, to study music with or any form of art, and um, um, that will pretty much uh, um, assure that you will get a good foundation and good preparation in the, and um, direct it in the correct way. Carlos is very passionate about music himself. He believes the magic and beauty of music has always been around. Well, music has been around since the beginning of time. Since there was the first human being on earth, there was music because the voice is the first instrument. And then you have the drums or a log of a tree or something like that. So music has been around ever since. And that is my explanation of why music is life and why music is so important for the human existence. That is all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for joining us. Before we go, ATV and I would like to announce that we are very excited to celebrate 15 on 15's four-year anniversary next week. We have changes coming up. They are all good changes, so be anticipating that. Make sure to like 15 on 15 on Facebook to be updated and on all the upcoming excitement. And we will be back here on Friday night with a brand new edition of 15 on 15, so we will see you then.